Two summers ago, I went on USY Israel Pilgrimage and Poland Seminar. I went on BBYO's Israel Journey Poland. Well, I went on um, NIFTI in Israel, which is um, North American Federation of Temple Youth. We spent a week in Poland traveling around the, the country, uh, visiting concentration camps and other important sites from the Holocaust. So we learned about that for about a week, and then we made the transition to Israel, where we traveled the country for four weeks. My trip in Israel was one week in Poland, three weeks in Israel traveling, and a week of community service in Israel. It was a four-week trip, and we went all over. We went north, south, east, west. We went in the big cities. We spent four days roughing it in the desert. Um, we basically hit all of the main big points. For me, I needed to go to Israel to understand Israel. I couldn't understand why people felt so strongly about Israel and why people raved about their experience and how much they loved the country. For me, it was just another country. Yes, it was the Jewish homeland, but I couldn't understand this connection. So for me, I needed to travel to Israel to understand and to build my own connection with the country. I just became a stronger person in many ways, not only for going to Israel and just developing a stronger love for Israel, but the Poland really affected me and really uh, made me understand the world, I guess, the life, I don't know. It just brings everything into more of perspective. I chose to go to Poland first because first of all, I wanted to see those Holocaust sites for myself. I wanted to witness these sites and to see the reality of them. And then I wanted to be able to do this in combination with Israel so that I made that historical move from a refugee in Poland, a Holocaust survivor, to the Jewish homeland and get that added layer to why Israel was created. It feels like as a Jew you're at home when you're in Jerusalem because you can, everywhere you see, you see the old city walls, you see Hebrew signs, like everything, Ben Yehuda Street, all the, all the experiences just bring everything together. When you're with teens, it's a whole different experience because you're at, like, in all situations, you're a different person with your family than you are with your teens, and to be able to have that experience in Israel is just unbelievable. It doesn't necessarily have to be about religion. It can be about finding yourself. Um, it can be about finding others. It, it's not necessarily a, you know, all Jewish all the time sort of place. Um, it's, you know, it's what you make it. I really enjoyed the Israel experience as a whole, that it wasn't just one aspect, but it was this plethora of culture and food and history, that it, it, was, Israel's, it was an Israel experience. So all the aspects of Israel combined and molded into one experience. It's also just a really cool place. Like there's, you know, everything you could want is there. Even just at this tiny country, you can go to the desert, you can go to the sea, you can go, you know, to the mountains, you can um, shop in a big city, you can, you know, rough it without any toilets, you can, you know, I mean, you can do anything you want, really. Teens need to travel to Israel because they need to learn about Israel and understand Israel and build a love for Israel because if you don't love Israel, you can't passionately advocate and educate others about it and spread your love for Israel. And it's only through the cycle of teens who come back from Israel and, and encourage more teens to go to Israel that we have the cycle of people who are passionate about Israel's existence and who are willing to speak up for Israel and fight for it to stay the Jewish homeland. Israel is important to me for a lot of reasons. Um, one, just because it's our Jewish homeland and I feel a strong bond between me and it, me and the country. And then also, because I've been there, I like understand even more why it's, how it's so important and why, like, from seeing it, that's why I like it so much and why I like being there and just the feeling of being in Israel. It's, I don't know, it keeps a bond, I guess, that makes you go back to it. When we were at Maidanek, standing in the crematorium and the gas chamber, there was this huge thing in the middle of the room, and it was a furnace. And there were all these little doors we looked at where people 
dead bodies had been shoved in. And it was this dark and gloomy room. And our guide asked us to close our eyes. And she told us that if anywhere else, that we were going to be thankful for our freedom, that it was in here in this spot where nobody walked out of alive. But we had the gift that we were going to be able to enter this building and exit it alive. And that we could attest that Am Yisrael Chai, that the nation of Israel is vibrant and is strong and it lives. And after going to Israel from Poland, we were able to see the vibrancy of Israel and attest that Am Yisrael Chai, the nation of Israel is strong and amazing and it's vibrant and it's constantly changing and growing and getting better. As long as people don't take for granted Israel and don't just believe it's always going to be there, I think we need to continue to have that bond and that dedication to Israel and it will remain strong. Like the experiences you get in Israel are once, like you can't get them anywhere else. When somebody would ask me, why Israel? It's because Israel is Israel. It's not one thing. It's the Jewish homeland. It's the only democracy in the Middle East. It's a place of multiple culture. It's a melting pot of immigrants. It's a religious, biblical site. It's where history comes alive. It's where you can become your own person and people, all types of individuals, celebrate themselves and experience this place that is open. So Israel, because it's Israel.